What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 306 to 310. Before we get into anything, we do have a couple of questions over here on the Discord. If you don't know, I have a Q&A section on my Discord. You guys can ask me any questions pertaining to any anime, and I'll try to answer those before I react to the next episodes. We do have three over here. First one coming from Kevin, who asks, with the Buster Call activated and demolishing the island, do you think everyone will manage to escape unscathed or do you think this will be another ohara incident with an unfortunate casualties i think that's a great question i think the difference between this and ohara lies within the fact that the straw hats are here i know that commander at the end of the last episode said start targeting ship number four even okay i can't say that maybe there's going to be navy marine casualties but i think a lot of it's going to be avoided based on the fact that the straw hats are here and luffy can cause whatever chaos and attention seeking he can do because the fact that they're willing to just blow up one of their ships with like a thousand men on it immediately is a little crazy but i'm hoping especially gear three luffy will be able to maybe do some damage slash gather some attention so hopefully the island itself and the people still escaping like galley law Frankie fam, those type of people can make it out safely because this is not looking too good so far. That's a good question though, because there probably will be some casualties. Next question comes from Evie Neeks who asks, who is your favorite character outside of the Straw Hat crew as of right now? Top three or top five if you can, thank you. That's a hard question because the Straw Hats are like front and center of One Piece. I want to say number one, Ace. I'm really enjoying just the big brother aspect, how nonchalant he is. He's hanging out with Buggy right now. So super curious where that's going to go. Number two, just because I'm always a fan of people who are about justice or morality, but then realize their justice or morality is a little corrupt or not quite what they thought. The so Smoker's probably number two or number three, because I love that boy Smoker. And I'm hoping one day, I don't think he'll join the Straw Hats, but I know we'll have some sort of team up. I really want that. And then probably Aokiji or Kuzan, whatever you want to call him, just because, again, he's a part of this moral justice, we'll say. But the, everything that happened with Robin and him letting her go really made him a gray area character for me. I'm super, and he was pissed about what Akainu did. He's like, that idiot, even I wouldn't do that, you know? So I'm super curious where that's going to go and how he, see, mm, the Marines are definitely intriguing me. That's a great question, though. I would say Ace, Smoker, and Aokiji. All right, last question comes from the master who asks if you could rewind time and adopt one character in child form from the entire One Piece verse as your own, who would it be? Hmm. 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 Also a great question. It's probably very similar to my who's my favorite straw hat. And to me, just because of how innocent, adorable, but how he wouldn't know his medical information because he learned that from Hira Luke and Kureha. I'd still probably have to go chopper just because having a cool and let's hope let's assume he has the human human fruit so i can still talk to him and we can still have that dialect he'd probably be chopper just because i would i feel like i could teach him the world we can go out sailing together just me and him meet some friends you know i just love that boy he's just such a cool dude i love chopper to death that's all great questions thank you master thank you ev and kevin if you guys want early access to one piece up to eight episodes or the full length version check out that patreon links are down below we're live on twitch watching this by the way so come on over sometime in the future i'm not gonna waste any more time let's get right into one piece episode 306 all right here we go right in episode 306 let's do it it should be exactly where we left off fighting luchi on these ships he's deflating he is back in chibi form It's such an interesting, but how my body reacts is a problem. I love how he's still experimenting with it, you know? Okay, it's relative time. And then obviously the Buster Calls is destroying their own governmental headquarters. Not their headquarters headquarters, but this is where all the law and justice takes place, you know? Everyone gets sentenced to impel down and stuff like that. Yokozuna is thinking about his boy still. Huge respect to him. I know you're sad. Hoping everything's going to make it okay. Especially with the amount of destruction going on right now. I still can't stand Spandam. 
The scale of these battleships, especially because we're already on top of the Bridge of Hesitation, is insane. You think Frankie gives a f what you say? Anytime Spandam gets hit in the face, I love it. I don't care any kind of circumstance. I know, good. Talk your shit, Frankie. Ooh. I do like how he can talk to him because he's technically still a sentient animal, you know? Okay. Good save. The size and scale of that sword because it can turn into an elephant is kind of crazy. Yeah, my boy stood in front of a train. You think my boy's not going to stand in front of an elephant? Ooh, and he's tanking some of that to his leg. you will certainly not like a shot that close good <laughs> holding an elephant sword hostage yeah it would have been vastly different with everything that happened with tom also something i can't wait to learn more about that boy gold roger whether it's Skypea and the Pawnee Glyphs, whether it's Tom making a ship, I love the references to him almost in every arc. It's just crazy how my respect and uh, my enjoyment for Frankie has gone up just tenfold since the beginning when we first met him, when he stole the money from us. He relates to them on so many levels with that, especially when it comes to someone you care about and are willing to go against the literal world for. It's exhilarating. I respect it so much. Bro, is he gonna slam Frunk Funkfried on him? Please, please kill Spandam. Oh my. I hope he's dead. I hope his back is broken or something. Oh yeah. Even though you took a gamble on us and are helping us out, I'm glad you were able to get something that you've always wanted out of it. Now we just gotta wait for the rest of the Straw Hats to gang here, even though they're getting flooded down underground. That's what I'm saying, bro. My respect for Frankie is just always rising higher and higher. And I always love his arsenal, too. Such a real one. She's, she's steeled her resolve, too. Plus her call phase is kind of getting over her. Get over that PTSD, girly. Come on. No one was born into this world to be alone. Man, I, I say it all the time, but huge shout out to every giant we've ever ran into so far. There's only been five. But I love them all, man. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. He's still reflective in her eyes. She's thinking about him. Yes, it is. Respect. Respect. I love that. Shout out, Saul. I'm just ready for the gang to be grouped together again. It's been like episodes since we've all been grouped up. I'm hoping so. Even though the C train was already packed with Marines. Hell yeah. There's a ship waiting for him at the main entrance. Oh, multiple. Another vice admiral was able to read this. Yep. No. Yeah, you can't go back. You can't go forward. Ooh. What do we do right here?
Everyone who sacrificed so much to be here, Sodom, Gomorrah, Galilee Law. We've gotten all the marine evacuees. Now they're just going to lay it all to waste. He's going to tell them to fire. Nah, don't do it. Don't do it. These are my boys. So how do we beat Luchi if gear 2 and gear 3 can't do the job? That is the worst possible thing. <laughs> that did piss him off. Even to the last breath. Even as chibi Luffy, my man's still gonna fight. He said it would only be stuck like this for like a minute, right? But a minute in fighting time is like 10 episodes. That is a plethora of stabbing in which it will not be good. That punch from earlier, finally... Finally kicking into his body. Ah. Which, if we can damage his legs and affect his shave and his mobility, that'd be one of the biggest things we can do. I mean, he tanked that fucking giant's punch straight on. Meanwhile, the straw hats are gonna drown to death. How are they gonna get out of this? Man is starting to accept his own. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Bro, drowning is one of my worst fears in terms of dying like that. Like, oh my god. Who is talking right now? Who is saving them? A mermaid? What is this, Black Clover? Are we saying Kokoro is a mermaid? The only reason I say that is because the face and the hair kind of looks like that. But no, I don't... Kokoro's an alcoholic. There's no way. Or is this like an actual mermaid just coming to save the day? You are technically in the ocean, the sea that, you know. I was like, so invested. Dugong like the Pokemon? I mean, Kokoro is always look a little funny and tom's a fishman so it's like does she just hide that under her pants like how does that work can she i'm so perplexed i'm so confused so we do have the escort ship we've put all the marines in the water huge shout out frankie huge shout out robin now we just need kokoro to show up with the gang and we're good I do like the fact that this was supposed to be the ship to take her to her death, and now it's going to be theoretically the ship that saves her. Is that going to be Kokoro going underwater with the gang, or is that going to be something else? And if Kokoro appears like this, can Frankie explain it to us? Oh my god. Hey, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. She's beautiful just for saving the straw hats, we'll say. I've said it already multiple times in this arc, but huge shout out Kokoro, Chimney, and Ganbei for saving the day. I don't know, baby, you... No one would expect that. Yeah, back then times were simpler. Yeah, how her perspective has changed on us so much over... She's been there from the literal beginning of Water 7 before we even got there. It's crazy. 
Yeah, cover up, Kokoro. Come on. That would be his first concern. His eyes are sticking through his goggles. I'm an ice fish mermaid. Ice fish. Yeah, give me more details. I want more world building. That's what you were picturing. I love how <laughs> well proportioned, sexy body. I love how we were getting that at the end of the last episode from Sandy's perspective to hit the revelation. That's hilarious. <laughs> Sanji is heartbroken. The mermaids are 30. Their tail fins fork into two. So technically, it's still like a forked fins down there? Yeah, absolutely. You guys do need to say thank you. <laughs> but, like, I cannot wait to get more. That's crazy. And we're all back together with Robin. I'm loving this. Robin Swan! Yeah, Chopper went through it. Oh, <laughs> This is so nice. After literally everything we've gone through, my <laughs> man is in the mess. So is Chimney part Fishman? Like, I'm so... I know, I'm so glad they... I'm not glad because it's a horrible situation, but I'm glad they get to know what Robin kind of went through, seeing it happen, you know? Like, imagine this happening to your home with the people you love. Like, it's completely understandable. Yeah. Low-key, you might get in the way. That's a good point. We're finally together, you know? You shout out Zoro. Respect the right hand man. I can't wait to do a One Piece rewatch one day. Crazy to think we saw. We met Zoro in what, episode 3? Episode 2? I can't even imagine. Like, I say this almost all the time. I can't even imagine the amount of investment people who've been watching the show for 20 years have, you know, and like. How emotionally it hits like when you're caught up sh like that like, i cannot wait to be caught up with you guys watching live episodes it's gonna be such a good time my man luffy's exhausted after gear two and three i still got faith in you though my man his battle iq up there yeah i still don't know what's gonna happen with them i'm praying they make it out He's got faith in him. They've got the luck of the devil. I respect the faith. We have... If it was one warship, maybe we could do something, especially with Oimo and Kashi, but three of them with the size of these cannons? I don't think there's a damn thing we can do. I would start to do something, though. They're already preparing to fire. Is that how you tune it to call whoever you're calling? Bruh, that was OD and excessive. I love how there's waiting guard making sure this escape route's always available. No shenanigans happen. Because you never know, especially with this arc. After oh, nah, nah. I refuse to believe it. There's no way. Nah, nah. There's no way. There's 
There's no way. Polly. Zombie. Lulu, Tilestone, Oimokashi. There's no way. Yokozuna. There's no way. The amount of shit they did to help us. I love how everyone has the people they're connected to in this in this fight, you know? Everyone has somebody in that group that they are upset that they're like, there's no way. Literally. Chopper was... You could hear them, bro. That was super sad when they were... There's just no way. I refuse to believe it. Come on. Something's got to happen. Somebody's got to pull up. That's the thing about the Buster call. Without a shred of emotion. If you think I'm on Team Marines, Team Government at all, not a chance. It doesn't even necessarily have to be the Straw Hats. Any pirate organization going against the world government. I'm on their team. I'm on the pirates team. Kiwi Mozu. Come on, man. There's no way. Again, I'm, I, I refuse to believe it. Are we about to start Luffy and Luchi round four? Oh, he's trying to do gear two again. Maybe. He's pumping that blood again. I love how I know what gear two is now. It does take a huge toll on your body. I respect it. I respect it. But holy smokes, man, this is getting sad. This is getting dark. All right, this is the next episode. This is 308. That's the thing about another great thing about this arc is it has so many ups and downs all episode after episode, you know? Like a few episodes ago, I was feeling so up. I was literally peak, and now I'm like, damn, people are dying. People are. Luffy might lose. Like, I doubt he will, but like, my anxiety is through the roof right now. All right, round four started. Did he. Okay. I was about to say, it looked like he tried to brace for that. Oh my, oh my god! Man still has that speed. He also braced for that as well. And these guys are... These guys are like right there. You can see the fist imprints on his chest. Hit him with that bazooka. Secret technique. Six king gun. It's like an impact dial from Skypea. We know those, if you use that wrong, could kill the user. That's how strong those were. But of course, it's several times stronger. Imagine having the six techniques and plus just an impact dial that's stronger than impact just at your disposal. Even compared to the escort ship, look at the scale. Oh my lord. Yeah, we're not letting that happen. <laughs> oh yeah. Pull out that climb attack. They're going to be able to see the fight firsthand. Now they have a clear view into the first column. He's going to love to hear that. <laughs> All that's left is you, buddy. Maybe that'll take a certain level of stress off his shoulders, not having to worry about his friends if they can make even make it there. Just go free, buddy. Just let loose. He's gonna smile, yep. He's ecstatic to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, this shit is getting so crazy. I need Zoro to pull out a Mihawk, start chopping these ships in half. And it's crazy that all this is happening after they've already fought insanely hard. They're all already exhausted.
God damn it. All right. One more time. Let's go wild. It's rare hearing Zoro yell like that. He's being for real, for real. Like, I ain't never going back to jail. I ain't never getting caught. The chopper just wants to fight, but he can't. I feel so bad for my boy. Here we go. Oh, no. Bro. No hesitation. Hit him with that Kabuto. Yup, I do love that one. That, like branches off. I love Frankie's arsenal. Now, Soga King's the sniper. What's he gonna do with someone close quarters? <laughs> He's like, yeah, man, I'm the wrong guy to fight with a sword. What a sword man. Hey, distract him. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Talk about a broad axe. And he's holding it with one arm. Kind of crazy. Buddy, we're not watching Beyblade. This is the wrong show. Perfect timing. That's the thing about Zoro. It's more than just powerfulness. It's technique. He's a swordsman. He's not a strong guy with a sword. There's a difference. Yeah, you gotta summon some lightning clouds or something. Some thunder clouds, Nami. That is honestly so strong. And I love how it turns in like a ball and mace, you know? Pikachu down B. I always say it. Shout out Nami. Holding her own against uh, Commanders and Khalifa. Oh, also shout out to Robin. I love it. I love it. These guys are never ending. All the straw hats are putting in work. We need Luffy to beat Luchi. Ooh. It's like the sword sword moment of when you dog pile on someone. See, all his techniques are so strong. They just can't land right now. The Tempest Kick versus the Gatling. In the name of Dark Justice. If you have to put Dark before your Justice, buddy, come on. Not again. I do like the pose he does for that attack, though. Just, I feel like Megumi summoned Mahoraga, you know? He is straight tanking these, though. Obviously, it's taking his toll on his body, and he's... And it's hurting my man like hell. Speak of the devil. Ah, I don't know how Luffy's gonna be able to do this. Luchi, as a villain... As the villain of Eni's Lobby, which I thought I would love him when I first met him in Water 7, is he is such a great villain. Yeah. Maybe the power of Usopp? No more Soga King? Some, I don't know. Anything you can think of that will help. He's just that shocked. How to take the mask off, how to make sure I'm seeing this right. Look over at my man. Oh, <laughs> I am so glad I'm watching two more. Thank the Lord. All right, here we are. Episode 309. Because to be fair, wholeheartedly, genuinely, Luffy and Chopper were the only ones who didn't know. So this would be a huge revelation. And it does mean a lot coming from Usab with how we left off. Come on, it's that boy Usopp. That boy Goatsop. There's one thing that can reinvigorate my man's willpower. 
It's gonna be his fucking homie Usopp. I respect it. We want to stand up for his friend like that. You no good little kitten. Bring your little pussycat ass over here. Come on. Usopp's the best at taunting of the Straw Hats for sure. He's like, I might as well do it myself. I respect it, Usopp. Maybe some tough love is what Luffy needs right now. Maybe some tough love is what he needs right now. It really isn't like him. I feel him. I feel Usopp right now. It's making him get up. Oh. My man has gone through the ringer. The toll he takes on his own body with gear two and three. You gotta, hmm. It's tough love, but they still love each other so much. Are you done? Uchi theoretically would kill Usopp in about half a second, which I don't want at all to happen. Luffy's gonna be behind him. Yup, back in that pose. If there's one thing that describes Luffy as a captain, as a person, as a pirate, it's perseverance. My man will literally go through hell. He said this. It does not matter. Like the first Black Panther movie. I never yielded. Until I say I lost or I'm down, I won't sink to the ground ever again. Ooh. I love those words. Luchi's tired too. Battle's taking a toll on him. He's ready for it, though. Come on. Round five has begun. They're all getting tapped on the shoulder. <laughs> That's a perfect little distraction. Shout out Robin. Look at the girl tag team of the Straw Hats right here. I love it. Little do you know, Chopper, and I'm hoping we can let you know later. You were single-handedly the reason Sanji came back. You beat Kumadori on your own. Like, you are, you were essential, my man. Yeah, where the fuck did Sanji go? How am I just now thinking about this? It's literally been a whole episode he's been gone. He's always doing this, though. Like, when he left to go to the sea train initially to start hunting Robin, or not hunting, but bringing her back, you know? He'd be going on these little side quests, man. He's just like... Actually strolling away. Lu lu la la lu. What in the devil fruit does this guy have? The ball ball fruit? The berry berry fruit. That's kind of creative. It's like buggy except slightly different. Ooh. Yeah, he's going to use you as a cannonball. <laughs> I love seeing any creativity of any Devil Fruits. Hit him with a 30. 
The hell are you? I mean, that's soup. We just lost one of our swords. Now Zoro has to get a new sword. That's actually a direct counter to Zoro. Oh, hell nah. Okay, let's use one of these marine swords. Thank the Lord. Okay, Shigaraki? That's the wrong show, buddy. We're not in my hero. Shout out Usopp. Thank you, sir. Zoro saved your life earlier. Now you saved his. The teamwork does. Oh my god. Ooh, with an air launch? I'm like how he does his uh finger pistol flick. Yeah. Oh the tail is such a handy piece of utility. Oh, that thing is so broken. Look at the impact he just did to the wall. Imagine what that did to Luffy's ribs. His head's probably ringing. He's gonna catch himself. Oh, I've never seen Luffy go through it this much. I love that. He won't sink to the ground again. He had to catch himself. Luch, you just might have to give up, man. This man's never going to stop fighting. He's like, how the fuck is this kid not down? Everything that's built up to this moment. Even this, man. This was still dark times, but this was nothing compared to now. Oh my god. The speed. A jet gatling. Oh my god. Look how fast he's going. They just look like air bullets. Oh my god. Oh my god. We can finally did it. I got goosebumps right now. <laughs> Look at Usa. Usa's like me. I'm just like, what the hell? I've never seen Luffy go through so much turmoil. But he's he's gonna be king of the pirates one day, man. I love that. Oh, just making me tear up. God damn it! Shout out my man Luffy again. <laughs> with ending it with the biggest smile. I love that. Oh, I love that. Thank the Lord. I got one more episode The strongest fighter this is the final episode. This is 310 the strongest fighter in CP history Bro Luffy's bounty after this arc. Oh, I don't even want to picture it everyone's bounty Again huge shout out to Usopp everybody. Oh my god. And what are you thinking right now, Hattori? <laughs> I love how they never lost faith. It's the one thing, man. After hundreds of episodes, this gang, man. I just get so invested. Zombi? Ollie? Come on, let Frankie know we're good. 
Oimo, Kashi, Sodom, Gomorrah, Zombie, Pauly, Tilestone, Lulu, Mozu, Kiwi, everybody. Come on. Ollie with the rope master net keeping him on the edge how did this work Cali law ropes never tear this man is an icon huge shout out Like I said, everybody, on, even the Straw Hats, have people in this group that they want to live and make it out. I love Frankie. He's a man of passion. Right back to the fight. Come on. Hey, you guys ever played Smash Bros? Pikachu can spam that down B, so Konami. I love how Zoro is using one of the Marine Swords now. CN? Is that 100? Maybe that's Ciento. I don't know. Shout out Robin, man. We gotta get him out of here. Like I said, my man is done for. He needs a rest. Needs to eat some some meat. Pause. Probably can't move. I don't even think he could talk right now. He can barely wiggle his fingers. Bro, after all he's been through with the fight and the gear and how much of a toll that takes on your body, I get it. I understand. There has to be a way we can go get him real quick. He's in the same boat as Chopper right now. Who stops voice actors going crazy? I just feel the passion in there, you know? Okay. Float on sailing over to the side where we're much closer to him. Bro, we cannot catch a break. We genuinely cannot catch a break. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Hopefully, Kokoro, Cho Chopper, Gonbei, and Chimney were able to. You know, they just kind of lit that shit ablaze. Sanji. Thank the absolute Lord. Man saves the day yet again. <laughs> Far away. What has Sanji been doing this whole time in terms of is he preparing another way for us to escape or I'm curious. I had to take care of something. I wonder what that is. That's a huge Wanji right there. W Sanji. Okay, Kokoro. No more. I'm the hostage. Bullshit. Shout out. We're just straight up attacking the bridge where we still have hundreds of lieutenants and commanders on there. They really just don't give a shit. Bro, things just get worse and worse for the Straw Hats by the minute. Always love the tag team between them. But how are we going to make it out of this? Genuinely have no idea. Look at this. We're stuck on an isolated part of the bridge surrounded by warships. And Luffy's still stuck in column one. Bro. Genuinely, how do we make it out of this? I 
Damn. Yeah. Bro, all around, everybody's just gone through so much, bro. Everybody's telling him to stand up, to keep fighting. Push through. Even Yoko Zuna hit you with the ribbit ribbit. Come on, Luffy. Usopp's got the best hearing of the gang for sure. Anytime you hear something like this, I'm. Yeah, he did hear this earlier, but what was it? I love how everything gets desaturated when we're hearing this, but what is it? It's telling him to look below into the water? What is going on? Look below. In five seconds, this is going to... Is that what it's saying? Jump into the sea? It's better than getting blasted to pieces. Well, who? We're not talking about the Mary, right? Who are we talking about? Because Kaku launched the Mary into the sea back at Water 7 at Frankie's hideout. I love Robin's power. The utility, it's so handy. No pun intended. Into the sea, into the sea. I love the faith. Hey man, screw it, just jump into the sea. I love the music playing, I love their faces, their faith, but I, I'm i so perplexed. Bro, if this is the Mary right now, I'll fucking... I'll freak out. There's no way. There's no way the Mary made it back. There's no way. Bro, there's no way. Bro, there's no way. I just cannot believe how good these episodes are paced and how it's just a roller coaster of emotions from I'm depressed to I got goosebumps to I'm anxious. Now I'm fucking tearing up over a goddamn ship that made it back. Shout out to the shout out to Usopp for listening out. Shout out to the mayor. Bro, I don't know how this is even possible, but everything that happened in these episodes from the gang finally getting back together, Kokoro saving the squad, Usopp revealing himself to Luffy, giving him the fighting edge back against Luchi, and the... Bro, oh my god. These episodes, like, there's... I like, I've said this before, but I completely understand why people say Eni's Lobby's top five, top three, even the the best arc in One Piece, like from everything coming full circle through Water 7 to now is just like, it's it's literally one peak. This is this is such a good arc. It's not even funny. These episodes are just god damn, man. God damn. Fucking Mary. The going Mary saves the day again. I really I genuinely cannot believe it after <laughs> the amount the amount of shit we've gone through and how oh my god bro it just it really hits different it really hits different especially because we got this motherfucker on like episode 18 19 20 the like going mary's been with us for through everything saved our life on so many occasions
Oh, oh my god. Absolutely fantastic episodes. Just amazing. I'm gonna end the I'm gonna end the reaction review here, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did leave a like. I'm fiending for more One Piece. I, oh my lord. Oh my lord. This was amazing. Like I said, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Check out that Patreon. Make sure you tell someone you love them. Drink some water. We all love the going merry. Have a great day, Dapper Squad.